In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to set the WP site URL variable through wpconfig.php. Uh, to do this, you'll need to connect your server and have a text editor handy. I've already gone and done this and have opened up wpconfig in my text editor. Now, just a quick note, it's not recommended that you do this unless you need to, such as in the instance you have damaged your database uh, and you're unable to get to your website. So it should only ever be used temporarily, if at all. So just in wp-config, just above the line that says to stop editing, we need to just quickly add in this where we define the site URL uh, with http uh, colon slash slash. Uh, you can put a www dot in there if your server or your website uses that. The server name and the path to WordPress. Now for the path to WordPress part, uh, we don't actually have that installed anywhere fancy. Some people might have it at uh, slash blog and that's, that's fine, but we just have it uh, in the root of that website. So if we save this, uh, we can then go back into our website and refresh, and we can see it's all working correctly. And we can just confirm that it's working by going into the dashboard and then settings in general. And you can see here the WordPress address URL is actually grayed out, so there can be no changes made from in here, uh, and that will be constant whilst you have this defined in your wp-config file. Uh, if you have any questions, please ask below.